Hi and welcome everybody. Today I'm excited to present to you my LEGO Technic implementation of a Do Nothing machine, also known as a Trammel of Archimedes. So it's called a Do Nothing machine because essentially it uh, kind of does nothing. Uh, you can sort of turn the handle like this, and as you turn the handle, these two parts move back and forth. Uh, the handle part's called the Trammel, and the other parts just move back and forth. Now even though it's called a do-nothing machine, uh, you can actually do something with it. As it turns out, the shape that this part here traces out is in fact an ellipse, so an elliptical shape. So if you turn it around like this, uh, you can in fact draw an ellipse by just moving these parts back and forth. And like I said, if you attach a pen or a pencil to this part, you'll be able to trace out an elliptical shape. So these also used to be used uh, in fact for uh, creating ellipses. So this one here that I've got is a prototype and what I've done is in fact I thought it would be interesting to motorise this so rather than turning it by hand if I attach a motor. So what I've done is built this version which has been motorised. So what we can see here at the top we've got our, a, a medium sized motor that drives a 3 to 5 gearing which then drives a 1 to 3 and another 1 to 3 giving an overall gearing of 15 to 1 uh, and that drives underneath the trammel uh, which I've attached at the bottom rather than at the top and that allows this to drive itself in which case I can just sit back and indeed do nothing. I'll give you a quick demonstration. There it goes, it just kind of goes back and forth. Okay, now if you're interested in the math as to why this part up here traces down the ellipse, uh, what we can do, we can draw this on a uh, piece of paper uh, on a coordinate system like this. Uh, we can draw the trammel like that, where that part is that part there, we'll call that A. This point here we'll call B. And the final trammel point we can call point C. Uh, this one has an angle of theta down here, got that same angle of theta down here as well. Uh, so what we can do is work out the coordinate system of the point C. So we can do that, let's put that down. Um, so what we've got, if we try to work out the x coordinate of C, what we can do is extend that and make a big triangle. If this length here is P and that length there is Q, so that's that distance from here to there, and P is the distance from there to there. Then what we've got is that uh, x is equal to p plus q times the cos of the angle theta and also the y coordinate um, which is that distance from here to here we can work out as simply as q sine theta so that's using theta here and that distance and the hypotenuse of that triangle um, if we then rearrange these equations we can write that x divided by p plus q is equal to cos theta and we've got y over q is equal to sine theta if we square both sides and add them we end up with x squared over p plus q squared uh, plus y squared over q squared equal to cos squared theta plus sine squared theta which of course is equal to 1 so that is equal to the equation of an ellipse okay thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time